A local lawmaker is calling for change after an Action News Jax investigation. Last night, we exposed systematic flaws that allowed a convicted child molester to keep an active massage therapy license after his conviction. Action News Jax Samantha Manning is live downtown, and Sam, you spoke with that man, Michael Myers, this afternoon. Tanika Myers called our newsroom this afternoon after he saw our story online. He tells me he never practiced massage therapy again after he was released from prison. He also tells me he tried to relinquish his massage therapy license several years ago, but he said he was waiting on the state health department to take action. We told you how arrest records show Myers was arrested in 2011 for inappropriately touching a 12-year-old girl while he was massaging her. He pleaded guilty to molestation in 2012 and served 18 months in prison. But the voluntary surrender of his massage therapy license was only made official by the state this week, almost five years after his arrest. State Senator Audrey Gibson tells me she called the health department looking for answers after watching our story. She says something needs to be done so that licensing agencies are made aware of criminal offenses immediately. Although there was an investigation ultimately started, it could have started sooner, I believe, if the department had known that a licensed individual was involved. Gibson tells me she'll also be asking law enforcement about their role in investigating these kinds of cases. Coming up tonight at 630, what she says the state legislature can do to try and prevent this from happening again. Reporting live downtown, Samantha Matting, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.